one of the most interesting um, things that you see repeatedly in Second Life is the uh, devices that are built. There's a lot of um, a lot of reimagining of technology in Second Life. Um, not as much I see futuristic. The tendency tends to be something called steampunk, which is a, a reimagining of a, a neo-Victorian perspective. So there's a lot of science fiction, but the inspiration is more Jules Verne a lot, maybe a pulp science fiction of the 30s, um, lots of inspiration of steam engines, airplanes. Um, so it's not, um, when, it, when it first started, there was a lot of people who you would think they're cyberpunk, and there was a lot of machines that I would see that were built based upon a concept of neo future, And that's still around, as you can see from some of these pictures. But more and more as time goes on, Technology has a combination of being shaped more organically. People are imagining or conceiving more organically, and also more historically, and you know more fantasy-wise, as you see in some of these images. Um, steampunk has a huge colonies that have taken large sims over that are more successful. I haven't seen big cyberpunk uh, communities. There were there were some at the beginning, but they sort of faded. Whereas the steampunk societies are still, you know, major centers of creativity. There's still people kind of imagining futuristic cities. Extropia is one of them, and there are gadgets that show up all over. But, um, overall, I think the thing that's kind of survived or been selected for is this kind of re-envisioning steam.